Hi, today I'll be showing how to revive your lead acid battery. Here I have a 6 volt sealed lead acid battery and a 12 volt sealed lead acid batteries. So right now the voltage when I try to charge it doesn't go all the way to what it's supposed to be uh, which is supposed to be at least 6 volt for this one and 12 volt for this one and I suspect I know what's happening. I'm going to show you right now how to revive it. Let's get started. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put water inside this lead acid battery. Uh, I suspect that over time these uh, cell, even though it's sealed, some of the water actually evaporated over time and then causes the sulfuric acid to be very concentrated. It may even corrode some of these um, lead plate. I'm hoping that it's not so bad to the point where I can't revive it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, water to it to bring, bring back to uh, to its original concentration and hopefully it's able to maintain the voltage again. So that's the trick. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take remember it has to be distilled water. Okay, so it uses distilled water at uh, or fill it all the way up to its normal level and then see if it will actually revive the lead acid battery. Now I'm gonna use a syringe and I'm gonna slowly inject the water distilled water inside the cell. I already open up the uh, sealed lead acid battery as you can see there's this portion here a plastic you just have to uh, gently pull it apart just be be aware that you have to wear safety glasses and a glove just in case it's spilled all over you so be aware of it it's very uh, dangerous to work with sulfuric acid you don't want that to be touching your skin and if it uh, touches your clothes it'll be aware of that uh, what I'm gonna do is uh, once you remove the plastic cover of the sealed acid battery now you are uh, you have this access to the cell there's three cell so there's a rubber button here you can just pull one out and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inject the um, the uh, water inside the cell okay let's do that okay so it takes some still water using a syringe great now I will remove the rubber button from the that acid battery so it's now open you can see, you can see, that. Let's see yeah and I'm gonna put some water in there distilled the water there we go wow it looks like it's really empty okay okay so I filled it up I'm gonna put back the rubber button onto the valve there one there's three cell in this six volt battery I suspect each cell is two two volt or more and there we go make sure you don't overfill it just enough so that you can see a bit of water uh, on the valve itself okay that's it so ready to go so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna recharge this using a for this one I'm gonna be using the uh, uh, Nuco Genius uh, smart chargers it can do 6 volt and 12 volts so hopefully it will recognize the 6 volt now initially it's gonna be so low in voltage maybe 1 or 2 volt what you want to do is hook up to a normal 6 volt battery so that you bring the voltage up back to maybe 4 or 5 volts and then um, use this uh, charger because the charger if it detects that there is very low voltage it will not charge the battery so okay so the next step is to hook up the uh, the 6 volt battery to a 6 or 9 volt regular battery so bring up the voltage to close to 6 volt the reason you want to do that is because a smart charger doesn't charge a uh, dead uh, battery if it's below a certain level so for example let's say this is a 6 volt and it's a 2 volt right now then you won't even try to charge it because they know there's a, something's wrong with it is damaged so the smart uh, charger won't do it so what you want to do is make sure you hook up to a regular 6 or 9 volt battery directly to the uh, battery that you want to charge notice the red with the red the black with the back black once you do that the voltage will go up to close to 6 uh, do that for maybe monitor using a voltmeter uh, make sure uh, it doesn't go over 7 volt right about well, six something that's good enough and then hook up to the smart battery and you're ready to go okay let's do that right now okay so now you charge your six volt lead acid battery you're ready to charge your devices
For example, what you need is a 5 volt USB car charger like this one here. And you just hook up the positive terminal, which is this part here is positive terminal. And then the side is the negative ter terminal. Now I actually modified this a little bit. So this side here, I take the negative terminal and positive terminal and hook directly to the uh, lead acid battery. And then I can charge my smartphone, any devices that requires 5 volt USB um, input, right? So that's all there is to it. Now it doesn't always work if you put the distilled water into these chambers. Uh, Sometimes the lead acid um, solution, the sulfuric acid, may have too much contaminant. Like for example, the lead metals may be too corroded and so it may not work properly, okay? So hopefully, um, just put distilled water, it'll work. If not, if it doesn't work, then you might as well just recycle it. And, yeah, and let the uh, recycler worry about that. But if possible, try to reuse the lead acid battery again. Um, it's still usable. All right? Thanks for watching educatetube.com.